What's up YouTube, Peruvian's Finest here. This is a video mainly made for my friend Dennis because he wants to see the Goki deck profile that he's probably going to use for the regionals coming up in San Diego. So here's a, I guess, in-depth profile to see, so you can get a grasp to see what's inside the deck that he's probably going to use. So all the Gokis you run are these right here. these so I guess you can say the reasons for running the ratios you see here is suprex is your starter card you can say it's one of the gokis that is able to special summon a goki from your hand but it only gets the effect when it's normal summon so if you special summon if you so if you special summon suprex off firewall you won't get the effect but if you do it through goblin you get the additional effect of suprex to summon any of the other, any of these other guys and the thing they have in similar all of these is they're able to search out themselves or search out their monster or born. Um, but for him, you run him three because he special summons all the other ones. The reason why you run two of each of these is they have unique effects. Uh, this one is ma mainly for like beating over big monsters. Like you have him and another Goki, you're able to tribute that other Goki and make it gain that at Goki's attack. So if say for example you had a head bat and a twist cobra and someone wants to attack your twist cobra, you can activate its effect during the damage step to tribute the head bat in order to increase its attack by 800. So it'll be at 24. So it's good in like the grand game, like if you just have all Gokis in hand, it's able to do that. Head bat, the cool thing about him is if you control a Goki type monster a Goki monster, you're able to discard any other Goki to special win it from your hand. So it just creates another way to have another body on board so you can start Link. Uh, and then you have this level 1. He's pretty important because we have Link Rebo. And with Link Rebo you're able to abuse Firewall a lot. And also it's uh, in-hand effect is pretty good. Uh, any effect damage or battle damage you would take from a battle gets half if you discard it from the hand. Which is pretty good. And the reason why you run only one of each of these, if you see, these are a 5 and a 6, so you can't normal summon or special summon them, except for this one. This is what actually what he does. His effect is, if you control all Goki type monsters on the field, or if you control no Goki monsters on the field, or no monsters on the field, period, you're able to special summon him. And this one is actually not that bad of a, an effect. If you special summon off of a Goki monster, or you normal summon him, he's able to shrink a monster on the field for the duration of the turn uh, but you, the reason why you run one of each is in case uh, when you go into your Isolde search uh, what Isolde does is when you search out a warrior it negates that mo oh, when you summon you can't normal or special summon that target and you're not able to use any of their effects for the duration of the turn so you kind of use either one of these you pick a choose to discard off uh, headbat when you do the combo which I'll show later on uh, use this as like jump change I guess you can say but you run at least one of each so in case like you want to have Goki targets in your deck because you'll see why you want to you want to have a good amount of variety because you go through a lot of Gokis so you have something in your hand especially something off firewall which is why you run the different variety of Gokis and for your extenders you run a lot so you don't like brick at any point. So you have three junk forward, three captain, three Scorpio, one Cobra plant, and one super agent. The junk forward is basically Cyber Dragon. If you control no monsters, you're able to special summon him. He's a level three. He's an invoker target. Same thing with captain. It's only when he's normal summon he's able to special summon a level four or lower monster from your hand to the field. Scorpio, Scorpio, uh, Scorpio, Scorpio. You discard a monster, special summon the Cobra. And you're able to search off instant fusion for this. Also your invoker. And one agent, just in case you need an extra body. That's also a good going second card. And that lets you, if you go open it with it first and you already have like a lot of extenders, you can use him as a way to see what the hell your opponent is playing. Because you're able to reveal the top card of the opponent's deck. And basically all these are ways to get to your what eventually field you want to make is like a U or a good like tri board those are what those are for and then you run one Ibli Ibli is there for the reason of this mermaid card 
Nightmare Mermaid. Uh, you, that's why you run her. Also, she has some additional effects that you have to know about. Like with Ibli, if she's on your side of the field, when she's on, if you special summon off Mermaid, you can't special summon anything except for uh, Link monsters. So you have to link her away to be able to special summon again. And she also has an addi additional effect. When she's sent from field to grave, she's able to special summon herself to your opponent's side of the field. Uh, that's kind of beneficial, one or two ways. Uh, that, because your if your opponent, if you know your opponent isn't running Nightmare in their extra deck, be able to just leave it on the field, and then they can't special summon at all, unless they have a way to like tribute summon over it or whatnot. They just can't special summon. Period. Or if you special summon to their side of the field, you're able to use like have a target for first turn, because usually if you go first, they're not gonna have a monster for them for you to pop for his effect. Uh, what he does is he pops a special summon monster on your opponent's main zone to the graveyard by discarding a card and you draw a card if it's Coaling. And by giving them Ibli, you're able to you have him as a live effect so you can draw more as you're going through your combo. That's why she's pretty good. And you just run your 9 hand traps, 3 Ash, 3 Ogre, and 3 Drolls. Uh, the reason why you run primarily these 9 is with Droll and Lockbird, you it's really good against Sky Strikers because they have just a bunch of searchers. So if you cut them off when they go engage or terraforming for their terror base or they go the base effect of the field spell to search out a card, it just stops them for the whole turn and then you're just able to like rush them and kill them the next turn. And Ogre and Ash is mainly for like the mirror or like any other rogue matchups. Ogreing the Soul Day, Ashing the Goki searches or Isol Day all gets you there. Obviously, Draw just gets you there too. How much minutes? Seven. That's fine. Uh, for the spells, you run uh, three call to the grave. Uh, obviously, since we're in a hand trap format, you need a way for your combos to resolve. Your deck is really fragile on hand traps, as you'll see. And this is just a way, like, if you draw it, you're able to continue on your play without being unopposed. Uh, you run another extenders. I guess these are your extenders as well. If you draw them, three instants, one reborn, one soul charge. Uh, one succession and one reinforcement of the army and I guess this too but this you primarily just search off your Gokis um, these are you already know what these do this this uh, we run this card succession it's basically a reborn but it only reborns to uh, arrow at points so say you just have this on the field and you activate this card you can reborn anything you want, but you can only reborn it to this zone right here it points to. So anything it points to, you can reborn a target. What? And it is... You can only reborn from your graveyard, which is what you use it for. What is your instant fusion target? Oh, you'll see right now. Mm. Uh, and then you have the Rota. Rota searches any of your extenders, Moradin Captain, Junk Forward, Agent, or your Suprex. And Goki rematches your Search River Reborn. And you run your two equipped targets. This is primarily for Ice Old Day. Um, your two targets, this one has to be like mandatory because this is what lets you discard off your Nightmare Searches without minusing at all. This basically replenishes itself when you activate a, a Loki type, um, Nightmare Monster. And this one could be anything, but we chose to play this because in the rare case scenario, like you go second and then you draw into this with a Warrior. That's a cool effect. You can equip this to a warrior and make it lose permanently 500, but it lets you pop a set card on a set spawn trap card on the field. So that's a cool interaction. Um, we were playing Axe of Fools before, which is an equip spell that whenever equipped to a monster, its effects are negated. But we decided that since Sky Strikers is a more popular deck, you're able to use this to probably just pop random pop a set Hornet bit, uh, the Widow Anchor, or whatever. Of the trap card like impermanence you can pop that too is that the reason why you chose that over moon mirror shield yeah primarily mm. so then for the extra deck this is your only instant fusion target if you're wondering why we run three instant fusions it's because you want to see an extender in your hand because we're running 45 there's certain cards in the deck you want to you don't want to draw like ibli uh like other random cards but you know drawing them isn't the end of the world you're just gonna have to play around with what you have um, and 
we we were thinking of deciding to run like this and a region or any other instant fusion target but usually by once you resolve the first instant fusion target you just end the game because you're able to complete your board so you run that and we primarily run him because he's a warrior he's a three he makes invoker simple as that invoker you know why we run him the mortings the cobra i mean the predator plants the mortings the junk forwards just all make him and he's like he special summons super x because he can only special summon a level four warrior and that's how you get your engine started primarily if you go to him you're able to make a complete u board um so for your nightmares starting with the lowest rank you play the mermaid obviously which gets you your ibli and gets you your u started because primarily you have her on the field first to complete your u um a lot of uh Nightmare engines or Gokis or whatever, they tend to run just one copy of uh, Cerberus, one copy of Phoenix. But with my testing, or from my limited testing, I feel that running two of each is not essential, but it helps you make your U easier to make when you open uh, said combos. And either way, if you are in a grind game and you make either one of these, they all have a good effects when going second. Let's you pop a spell trap. And lets you pop a uh, special zone monster on your main monster opponent zone. Uh, so they're good to have in multiples, to be honest. Then you run two of your goblin, which lets you uh, have an additional summon by discarding a card. And also say, all these nightmare monsters, when they're cold they let you draw a card. So when you're doing your combo, you draw three cards for free. Potentially four, depending on what happens with your hand. Uh, unicorn, obviously, also two. Uh, you discard a card, select any card on the field, return it to the deck, and if it's cold, you draw a card. And we play Griffin. It doesn't really come up. It only comes up when you open like the God Hand. When we're able to make a U with him, this effect is you discard a card to add any spell back from the deck, um, back from the graveyard, back to your set setting face on on your side of the field. But you cannot use it the same turn. So, say you use a Reborn later during that turn. And you bring him out, you discard a card, and you're able to set that reborn back to your side of the field. But you cannot use it for the rest of the turn. But it's good as a extender for next turn. And while it's calling, uh, your opponents uh, cannot activate their special and monsters effects. So it's just like busted. Also, I guess I forgot to uh, add a part of their additional effects. The last part of the line effect. Uh, for Unicorn... During your draw phase, you're able to draw as many cards as for nightmares that are co-linked. Meaning, if you have four nightmare monsters that are co-linked, you draw four cards. Uh, Goblin, if he's co-linked, none of your monsters that are co all your monsters that are co-linked cannot be targeted by card effects. Uh, cannot be destroyed by battle, or cannot be destroyed by card effects. And all your monsters lose all mo monsters that are not co-linked lose a thousand attack and defense. So. The nightmare package pretty busted obviously you run your one i sold day we only run one because um i feel one is what you probably just need to play a game if you run two you're just cutting off access to variety of your extra deck and space in the extra deck is tight as is and usually uh you can play around um saving your isolde around hand traps using your gokis as uh chain link blockers uh so we just run one isolde day uh, the one link Karibo, which is essential for us because it lets you abuse firewall a lot by the combo that I'll show later on. And one firewall, he's mainly the heart of the deck because he lets you abuse himself. Whenever he monsters leave where arrows point to, you're able to special summon monsters from your hand. And one try get wizard, obviously we run him since we tend to have him with three links, so he's able to have the effect of being able to negate a spell trap card during your opponent's uh, turn. Also it has all the other pretty good effects like when it's co linked with two, during your turn you're able to banish a monster. Or you can just target one card on the side of the field and banish it. And its first effect when it's co linked by one, you're able to deal double damage. Which is pretty good. And for the side deck, uh, this might not be um, finalized, but I think it's pretty good. Uh, you run three evenly matched. Uh, this can be used towards the mirror match or like any other like back row heavy decks like Ultra Geists. Um, obviously, it's a pretty good card. You have three red reboots which can be used for Trick Stars, Ultra Geists, 
or you can also side it going first when you know your opponent is going to side evenly match so you have an out to evenly match since apart from your board when you make your U Trigate Wizard is the only out to this but if you have this as an additional way to out this you're able to use your Trigate Wizard, Trigate Wizard more efficiently rather than just negating this card uh, then you run 3 Reapers primarily just for the mirror match as a way to auto win you just cut them off by Soul Day and then you make their play super awkward Three Twin Twisters, primarily for Trick Stars and Ultra Guys too. Um, and then you run three Imprint Minutes. Uh, this is basically like Effect Bay there. While it's in your hand, while you control no, t no cards on your side of the field, you're able to use this during your opponent's turn when they're doing their combo. So if you're going second and you draw this, it's like an Effect Bay. You can discard it and negate a monster on their side of the field. Or say you're able to set it during when you're going first, and say they summon a monster directly to the column that corresponds to, you flip it, you negate that monster's effect and any monster or any cards in this column, so spell, monster, whatever, or say you were activated here, you negate the column of the monster, the column of the extra monster zone and anything in between, uh, you're able to negate any effects that activate in that column for the same turn, which is pretty good. Uh, this you side against the mirror match, or anything you feel like you're gonna need an effect there, uh, type of a card. So that's 15, 15, and 45 minutes. And in the next video I'll make, I'll do the combos with how to make a U using what type of extenders and whatnot. So that's part one. Later, YouTube.